Armstrong Entertainment. I wonder if they're going to make a sequel. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Chad from Armstrong Entertainment, and I saw the movie John Carter. It stars Taylor Kitsch, Lynn Collins, Willem Dafoe, and Thomas Hayden Church, and then and Samantha Morton. They play the green characters with the forearms. They don't actually, they're not really in the movie, their voices are in the movie. So this movie, there's been so much drama about this movie that you've been hearing about probably, and how much it, money it costs to make. It costs $250 million to make this movie. It's from a first time director doing live action. He's the director of um, WALL-E and Finding Nemo and the Pixar movies. So this is kind of like a thing for him, I guess, is launching movie. And it's based off of Edgar Rice Burroughs' story. It came out 100 years ago in 1912, so it's literally the 100th anniversary, and it's been done a ton of times, the story. I've actually never seen any John Carter stuff, and I really was kind of clueless on it. I had never even heard of it until I saw the preview. When I saw the preview, I thought it looked like crap. I was not interested. I didn't understand it. I, it looked really cheesy to me. And honestly, I think the thing that killed this movie was the preview. And the story fo follows this, the lead character, his name is John Carter, and he, I don't want to give anything away. It doesn't even matter. He goes to another planet and he meets lots of aliens, I guess you would say. And it's this whole, it basically reminded me of Star Wars meets Avatar, but not nearly as good as either one of those. And this story is a hundred years old, so it's kind of like, oh wow, that's a, the only thing he can do? Like, the coolest thing he can do is jump. Really? That's it? I went into this movie with very, very low expectations. I really wasn't planning on even seeing it, but I kind of just happened to see it. I'd heard that the movie was better than everybody's been expecting, and that's exactly what I would say. Go in with extremely low expectations, and you will come out liking this movie a lot more than you will if you go in with high expectations, because it is no Star Wars, it is no Avatar. It's about 20 minutes too long. The lead actress, she is about 10 years too old, for the part that she's playing. It's really awkward because she's blatantly 35 years old and this kid, the lead guy, is, well, he looks like he's 25. So it's like, really? The, the two of them are hooking up? They're, I don't know, it just seemed weird. She just seemed way too old for the part. There's a lot of cool, fun characters. The dog was amazing. Um, I thought all the, the um, special effects were really cool. I mean, I can see where they spent $250 million, but I did not see this movie in 3D and I, and, it must have been really cool in 3D. You just have to go into this movie with an open mind. Just, like, be willing to accept things. It's very, very easy to make fun of this movie and rip this movie apart. And there's things that are out of sequence. There's things that just don't make sense. There's things that are boring. Overall, the movie's kind of a big cluster, F-U-C-K. And you just kind of have to accept it. And I went in like that. I just enjoyed the movie. And I thought it was okay. But I would definitely say, if you thought the preview looked good, definitely check it out. Because the preview sucked. Otherwise, I don't know, it's, it's really hard for me to say whether or not you should see this movie. I personally thought it was okay and I'm glad I saw it, but I doubt I'll see it again. I don't know, I don't even know what to say about this movie. John Carter... Uh...